you know, the leader is the superhero that <laughs> comes in and can solve everything. The way I grew up, and many of us grew up, we thought we were taught that being smart was really important. Another, I think, danger that we've seen for leaders is, uh, and that's a trap that, you know, it, you can fall into, I have fallen into uh, from time to time, is the seduction of... Uh, what are some of the things that you think leaders need to do or change about themselves or how they lead to bring more of that purpose into the organization? So uh, that's a, these are great leaders, by the way. Some of them are friends. Paul uh, is one. Uh, significant change. So I'll speak from personal experience. So the way I grew up. Do you want to hear something really crazy? 96% of the people who watch videos on this channel are not subscribed. Help me change that number around by subscribing so that you can get access to more videos just like this one. And now let's get back to the content. And many of us grew up, we thought we were taught that being smart was really important. In fact, that's how you get to the best schools. That's how you land you know, the best jobs initially is by being very smart. There is also this belief that, uh, you know, the leader is the superhero <laughs> that comes in and can solve everything. And so we've grown up with this, uh, this myth about leadership, about being smart and being strong. Um, another, I think, danger that we've seen for leaders is, uh, and that's a trap that, you know, it, you can fall into, I have fallen into. Uh, from time to time, is the seduction of uh, power, fame, glory, or money. I remember once taking a job that was 20 years ago because I thought it would bring me closer to the top of the organization. So it was not in that case about money, but it was about power and fame and glory. I was very proud because the board announced that I had, had this job. Uh, that's very dangerous uh, because it's all about you. So all about ego. And we could name, you and I, uh, a set of examples of people who have fallen, great people who have fallen because they fall, fell into these traps. And all of the corporate scandals yeah. of the last five years, 20 years, essentially about, about these very smart people who were seduced by power, fame, glory, or money. So that's the first thing is to realize that these are traps. And then so you have to, to do a reset and so I talk about the five B's of, you know, purposeful leaders. And it's about being. So the first B is about being clear about your purpose as a human being. So what drives you in life? What, you know, what would you like your obituary to be? You know, what's imp what kind of a leader, how do you want to be remembered yeah. as a leader? What contribution do you want to make in your life? It's not going to be your banking account, you know, it's, how do you want to be remembered? How do you want? And so for me, my purpose is to try to make a positive difference on people around me and use the platform I have to try to make a positive difference in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not power, fame, glory, or money. Uh, being a purposeful leader also means understanding the purpose of people around you. What drives them? So the question is, what is your dream? And really then connecting these individual purpose with the purpose of the company. Oh, and by the way, if you're working at a company that, you know, doesn't have a purpose that connects with your purpose, you should leave. And that yeah. happened once, you know, uh, uh, when I was working at EDS, the new CEO, it was all about profits. Yeah. And that's all ma that mattered. And, oh, by the way, he was centralizing everything in Plano, Texas. So no more autonomy. So I left because I, I didn't feel I, you know, that I could connect with this. 